this tutorial show you how to use um, flow pane instead of using anchor pane so far. So let's create the Java FX FX ML application. Then uh, you may select as it is default. I'm using JDK 1.8. Then uh, FX ML documents using Sim Builder. So let me just um, add a package name in front of FX documents. Okay, let me open Sim Builder. Here I will remove anchor pane. I will replace with the uh, flow pane. Just uh, one of the layer it comes with uh, Sim Builder. Flow pane. It depends on what you add to flow pane. It will show up or in order. It will looks like it flow uh, left to right hand side or top to bottom. Okay, Dep uh, depends on your orientation too. But default orientation is uh, horizontal. I will cover it later on. Or you can make it as a vertical as well. So let me uh, add uh, five image view. Okay, I'm going to get some free icons, um, basically license free icons. Um, again, uh, nothing, yeah, this, this web page is nothing to do with me. Uh, it seems like a useful, so, uh, for the demonstration. So let me just grab something here. Um, uh, I'm going to look at, uh, icons. Maybe, uh, something to do with, uh, Something a bit more colorful. I like to have some uh, image of uh, uh, restaurant food or items, something more visible or easy to use. So let me just click um, food, then I will select uh, five images. It's up to you. Uh, you can choose whatever you want. I get one strawberry, then jelly, yeah, I think so. Um, I will try to select a different color, maybe chain or something. I don't have to type too long. Cheese, okay, yellow. Maybe just one more, okay. It looks like a pancake. I think that's all. Okay, what I'm going to do is now, uh, let me create uh, one directory called uh, images, which is actually folder on Windows 10. So I will call it images on the uh, same project and package name. So it will appear as an image. And then let me just drag, drop uh, those five images. So it will appear as the same project and then package name. Then uh, under the package name, uh, directory called image. Okay, so let me just go back to image view. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I have uh, five image views. So I will add um, one image for each. So cheese, maybe next one in order, uh, jam. Okay, then I will continue to do so.
Okay, um, now I think I need at least one label. So um, when we choose the one item, so basically when you click the uh, cheese icon, it will uh, show you uh, the price of item. So we'll say um, image view, so IV cheese. So name, name, me just name for the uh, object. So let me say IV image view gem. So again, uh, IV jelly. And then IV uh, pancake. And then uh, let me just do one more. Label, I will say uh, LBL, um, maybe uh, looks like a dessert to me. I'll change to uh, dessert, then uh, maybe slightly bigger font size. Let's say, uh, sorry. Maybe text align, I will uh, change to center. Okay, page things is done. Let me save. So let me just go to um, Go to uh, cheese uh, image view. So we are, we are going to use mass events, but it's again it's straightforward. Um, something we click on that particular uh, image, uh, we will trigger certain action. So I will choose uh, home mass clicked. So I will use the same name um, cheese mouse clicked. So uh, so the as it is a uh, straightforward name. Okay, so let me save. Then let me go back to the pins. Okay, let's make a new controller. Basically, update controller class. So um, as you can see, um, the multiple item shows up. Okay, the label I had previously. Let me remove. Um, as a handle button action, I don't need that, so let me remove. Okay, um, so here we have a five image views and one label. Uh, I think there's a typo called LBL digits. Um, let me just fix that first. Digits, uh, double S. Okay, let me fix that one too. Okay. So let me go back and then let me make a new controller so that it will show up with the correct name. Okay, so now what we are going to do is, um, let me say label digit, which is a label object, set text. So we can actually uh, set the price of uh, item. So I think I need one more variable. Um, let's say double price, maybe default value is 0, 0.0. And then here, uh, if, when I select the C's, maybe I will say uh, price, okay, for 495, okay. So text, set text, we can say price. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's an incomparable type. So some of you already know we changed to um, string data type. So we have to do type conversions. Value of price, which is double value. Now let's see how it works.
So when you click cheese, you say 495. That's what we want. So let me finish up uh, four different items. Okay, let me name it as um, you need to introduce uh, methods. So I will go to on mouse click. So let's say jelly mouse click. Sorry, that was a gen. Okay, this is jelly. Uh, mouse clicked. So we are introducing mouse event handler here. What I call it is a um, pancake mouse click. Okay, uh, here um, strawberry mouse click. Okay, that's all. Um, let me change the label called uh, digits. Maybe I'll change to something more direct. Maybe I'll just change to uh, price. Then uh, name of the label I will change to uh, LBL price as well. Okay, it seems more straightforward to me. Save, then make new controller. Actually, revising controller. So, if you look at here, uh, let me just remove the old uh, label name, LBL digits. I will keep it together, maybe uh, after LBL price. Okay, and then I will label it as, uh, I mean, I will comment it as a uh, maybe unit price. Okay, uh, LBL, LBL price. Okay, uh, it's going to be exactly the same. So let me just copy, repeat it, uh, maybe uh, four more times. Then I will change the price to maybe. Uh, 595. Then uh, maybe I will continue like a 695. Then maybe 795 and 80, 895. So so that we can see uh, whenever I click the items, it will show uh, show us different price of uh, of that particular clicked item. Okay, let's do a quick demonstration. So if you click the cheese, it will show you 495 and then jam 595, um, jelly 695 and 795 and strawberry 895. Okay, um, but we didn't talk about uh, uh, floor paint. So when you look at the items, you just simply um, uh, arrange the items left to right hand side. Okay, we didn't, I, I did not actually move anything. So simply add uh, five image view. So let me discuss about uh, how the, um, the floor pane works. So when we add uh, certain items, uh, depends on size of a floor pane. But main idea is uh, you just floor left to right hand side, top to bottom, uh, because default uh, orientation is uh, horizontal. You may be able to change to a uh, vertical. Okay, that means arrangement is usually top to bottom rather than uh, left to right hand side okay so if you um because of the size is a bit big but you, as you can see um, it doesn't move okay because i changed the vertical so items will move from top to bottom 
Okay, so it depends on what kind of behavior you want for your apps. You may choose to a uh, horizontal or uh, vertical orientation. So once we um, launch our apps, may behave a certain way. So here, I change the vertical uh, orientation. So when you drag it, make it uh, maybe a little bit longer. It may appear, see, uh, five items up here. But it doesn't matter what I do with uh, uh, the length, okay? It doesn't help because it's a vertical orientation, not uh, horizontal orientations. So this is what you want, then maybe this is what you want. Uh, depends on what kind of size you have on your screen, or if you want to hide certain things, or whatever reason. Okay, thank you.